Team viewer portable, I fucking finally got around to making this video two months later or something like that. I finally ditched Team Viewer the installed version. I try to keep my wind blows machines <laughs> micro crap, micro slop, micro shit computers as clutter free as possible. I've noticed the more software you install on Microsoft computers, the more possible chance of problems. I've noticed that. A lot of it has to deal with the registry, blah 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 blah. So TeamViewer Portable, I tested it. The portable version is almost exactly the same as the installed version. It's only about 78 megabytes. I'm running what number version 11 of TeamViewer. I don't give a fuck if you're offended by it. There, there's these tech channels that are obnoxious. They're like communist, socialist. They're language Nazis. Some clown gets offended if you refer to running software on a on a on a computer as running I'm running Windows 10 I'm running team viewer well that's just a figure of speech but you got these Nazis all over the fucking YouTube in America I mean they're they just you can't say anything America is so politically correct it's disgusting who would get offended by somebody referring to as running an operating system or running a software program of course you're not literally running or of course the software isn't running it's called abstraction it's called you know words have different meanings so team viewer portable it's only about 78 megabytes all you have to do is download it I included a link in my blog post at my website in com, and then just store it somewhere you can put it anywhere on your hard drive if you want I have a specific folder for my portable software in case I need to back up the data or I can, you know, just quickly, if I'm going to reinstall Windows, I can just quickly, you know, move that data and it will have all my portable software. Or you can even move it to the proverbial Windows install folders, you know, you know what I'm saying? the program files directory although caveat emptor some some portable software doesn't work in that folder I've tested it but some do so just a caveat I did not try moving TeamViewer portable to the the Windows the programs folder and the WoW 64 if you have 64 bit I didn't even bother it will run off a CD-ROM and a USB flash drive I think it would probably run off a network drive. I didn't test it, but I would probably I don't I don't know for a fact, but I don't see why you couldn't run it off a a, a network drive. It should, you know, if it doesn't work it doesn't, but if it does, well, you know, you just run it off your network drive and then that way you can just, you know, keep one copy on a server. Anything else about portable? Now, Quoted, I quoted directly from Team Viewer's website. Quote, it, it's part of a quote. You know, that's why you have the dot, dot, dot. Hey, man, America is disgusting. It is, these Americans are so politically correct that, I mean, getting all bent out of shape because somebody uses the term running, referring to an operating system, or I, I don't get it, man. I don't fucking get the, I don't want to get these Americans. I avoid 98% of them. They're not all bad. They're not, you know, but every, just every generation gets worse. Especially with the political correctness fucking horseshit. Okay. Comprises all the features of the full version of TeamViewer. And then I think they use the word generally. Generally comprises all the features of the full version. So, you know what I'm saying? It looks here, it's right here. I'll show it to you. It looks exactly the same as the as the install version. You know what I'm saying? This is it. This is TeamViewer portable. I don't care about my ID. I know, I know my pet. I know, I know, I know. I can already hear the communist socialist Americans. There are communist socialists all over the planet, but I have to live in this fucking abstraction. Once I close this out, 
it, this information will be different. You know what I'm saying? Now, you do not need to update the software. It won't work. If you try to update it, it may update itself, but then the next time, if you close it and open it, it's going to just tell you, you know, it's not up to date. I think there, I think you can check for updates. Yeah, but like I said before, it's portable, <laughs> so it's not going to update itself. What you can do, or what you have to do, is just like CCleaner Portable. You have to go out and download the most current version of the portable version, and then, you know, copy it to where you normally copy it or where you like to copy it and then team viewer is real easy you browse to the folder and then you run teamviewer.exe that's all you have to do you could even create a shortcut or on windows 10 excuse me on windows 10 you could right click and then choose pin taskbar or you could create a shortcut or you could create a batch file or whatever you want to do however you want to run this program but it's exactly it looks i don't see any differences they said they use the word generally but it's like it looks fucking the exact same to me but you know I'd have to sit there and compare the code well they, but this is proprietary software so how could I compare the code but you know what I'm saying I take their word for it it says ready to connect so it's just and then you know if I need to connect to somebody's computer or it it's got it's got the same but it's got the same interface you know what I'm saying and that's it and it you know, it's only 78 megabytes. Now, what I've noticed with portable software, it doesn't always save you a lot of disk space. I need to make a video about another portable software I finally tested out. Open off, no, not Open Office. LibreOffice. Libre I finally tested LibreOffice, the portable version. It only saves about 100 megabytes, but that's that's a lot of disk space actually. The portable version is 100 megabytes smaller than the full version that the, you know that you install. Now, I did not check when I went to I w I wasn't even thinking about it with LibreOffice. I was like, I wonder how much disk space if any I save. I'm not sure if TeamViewer the portable version is smaller. I'm assuming it my logic tells me that it should be smaller, but I've noticed with some portable versions of software, it's not always that, you know, big of a difference but to me it's still worth it because to me number one using Microsoft operating system is a bit perplexing but I'll be bluntly honest the only reason why I use Microsoft is because I make money off of it <laughs> I'm being serious that's it I can't make a living supporting Linux there's not enough users yet Macintosh I might be able to but that Ooh, be, you'd have to. I don't. I'm not saying it's not possible, but you'd have to compete with the fucking Apple Store. You know what I'm saying? And there are some in Denver, Colorado. There are some repair shops that I think are most that might be exclusively Mac, but there might. I don't think there's that many. A lot of those, even if they bre claim that they're exclusive, you find out that they will work on Windows. Com I, I work on anything. I sell Linux computers. I've never ever had anybody. Well, that's not true. I've had a couple of potential customers ask me how much I would charge to load Linux, and I told them eighty dollars is that's in my area. That you know that's competitive. I charge eighty dollars to install any operating system. It doesn't matter Windows, Mac, Linux. But I've never had a paid customer. I know I'm digressing. So my point is that. You know, that's why I still keep around Windows operating systems because, and especially Windows 10. I knew nothing about Windows 10 until I installed it. But this is old school. This goes all the way back to Windows 95. I'm telling you, the, the le least amount of software on a Windows computer, the better. It's, be it's best just to install it, up update it, turn on the firewall. You might need antivirus, and don't load that much software. Just... If, if you need, like, if you don't like Internet Explorer, which I don't blame you, or Microsoft Edge, although there are there are now portable web browsers. There, somebody just fucking slant. Somebody, I can't tell yet. I think it's downstairs now. People upstairs are still loud, but it seems like they're not as loud. 
But some, I swear to fucking God, somebody on the first floor in this commercial building, they fucking slam their door so loud that, like, I can, it depends on how loud they slam it. Like, this time, I don't think the condenser mic picked it up, but I heard it. And I can, like, hear it echo, and sometimes I can hear the walls. I'm not making this shit up. I can, like, feel the walls move, or since I'm standing on carpet and, and wood, I can feel the floors shake. <sighs> Anything else about TeamViewer? Portable. I'm happy with it. You know? Now, if, it's, if it starts having problems, and I notice a difference between the install version, where this will have more problems or it'll disconnect, then I'll ditch it. And I would make a video about that, but, I mean, it, it's so far it's acceptable i don't recommend anything i don't recommend shit anymore nah no nope. don't no nope, not a waste of time so you don't update it but you could you could go up here and click check for new version oh the requested function cannot be performed oh you know what i don't know i swear when i had it installed no nah, maybe you can't maybe they disabled that i swear i i Eh, maybe it's some other software. I don't know. I test software like I went and got rid of CCleaner and then I only use the portable version. Now I only use LibreOffice, the portable version. And so it could have been another piece of software. So there is, you can call it whatever you want. You can call my videos trash. You can hate my videos. You can like my videos. I don't give a fuck. I just don't care about any of that crap. You can call this a review video. I don't, I just, I'm not, I just don't care. <laughs> That's my point. I don't give a fuck about 98% of America and Americans and American society. Because it's just, I'm fed up with it. It just makes me sick. But I just, but I love technology. I thank dog. I'm not religious. Thank dog, serious dog star. Lucifer, the Eastern star, the morning star. Thank dog, I'm not religious, I mean, thank dog for technology. I, I like it. I, I spend as much time with technology as I can, although I get burned out, but I try to take breaks. I, I try not to be obsessively compulsive with technology because, you you know, you need to take breaks. But that, that's what the outside is for. That's what vitamin D, the, some people call it a vitamin, some people call it a hormone. Or I have other interests nature going outside breathing fresh air but technology keeps me away from this uh, i don't want, i dare not say it i might get this video pulled team viewer portable